Now, when it comes to setting up Raspberry Pi 4 Model B version, which is the latest Raspberry Pi 4 version, so we need to have an additional devices and you can see I have a quite a few devices shown in, in, in the picture here in the video. Like these are the things we need to have before we start setting up the Raspberry Pi for the first time, especially when it comes to setting up the Wi-Fi on Raspberry Pi 4. So we have to have a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B version. Then we have to have an HDMI, full HDMI to micro HDMI converter. Then we have to have a type C USB cable. Then we have to have a USB mouse. We have to have an HDMI monitor. Uh, the screen we will be using to setting up the Wi-Fi on Raspberry Pi 4. Then we have to have a USB keyboard. So USB mouse and USB keyboard is very important. We need to set up the Wi-Fi using these two devices. Now, when it comes to powering up the Raspberry Pi for the first time, then it's uh, like you have to take the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, and then you can take this micro HDMI converter. Okay, and let me connect to HDMI 0. Okay, like this you can connect because if you have the normal full HDMI, just the way I have here with me, you can take this and connect it like this. Okay, so this is how you're gonna set up the, the HDMI then perhaps then perhaps you need the type c usb cable so i can take the type c usb and uh, then connect the usb power okay and this will go straight away to the laptop's USB port, right? And, but the powering up will be the last step. Before that, we can connect a USB mouse here. And then USB keyboard, right? So, this is how we're gonna set up our Raspberry Pi 4. Now it's, kind of ugly mess uh, I can try to set up like this and uh, this is how you, you we're gonna set up and finally we can give the power to Raspberry Pi 4 uh, we can take the C USB and then connect type C USB okay so once you connect type C USB cable you see this red light will light up and uh, then you will see your Raspberry Pi 4 will be booting up on your screen. The Raspbian operating system on Raspberry Pi is booting up for the first time and it will take a few seconds before it loads the desktop version of Raspbian operating system on Raspberry Pi. So just wait for a few seconds and then we will probably see the desktop version of Raspbian operating system. So you can see it looks like a Windows or maybe more like Ubuntu Linux, but there are a few pop-up box you can see next to us. So let me just show you. So this one warning, it says like SSH is enabled and the default password for the user Pi has not been changed and we don't mind this changing the default password. So I just say okay here. And then we have another pop-up box which says welcome to Raspbian Raspberry Pi desktop before you start using and this and that. I don't rather use this, uh, you know, dialog box or the pop-up box to configure. I rather say cancel. Okay. And the first thing that we want to do here uh, in order to set up this Raspberry Pi for the first time, you can see on the upper right corner, there is some a network symbol, right? So when I click on this network symbol, then I would get this click here to set the Wi-Fi country. So before we set up the Wi-Fi, it's better to select the country that we are in. So I can click on this Wi-Fi country setup and you can see I get this new pop-up box here where I have to select the country. So I can click this menu and uh, I scroll down 
till I see India because I live in India. So I don't know how far I have to go. Maybe here somewhere. Okay, here is the India. So I can select India as my country of residence and I would say okay. And after that, when I take my mouse cursor on the upper right corner again on the same network symbol, and if I click on this, it will show me a different access points around me, right? And I have my internet with the SSID SciTech. So I want my Raspberry Pi to connect to this SciTech access point, right? It's a broad, broadband internet. So I can click on the SciTech and then I have to use my keyboard in order to set up the uh, password. So I can just say, just uncheck this box so you can see the password here. And I would type the password that is uh, 21 pilots. Okay, it's a famous band, by the way. And I can click on OK. And you will see it will take a couple of seconds. And on the upper right corner, all of a sudden you will see it will show some Wi-Fi symbol or logo. And if I take my mouse cursor on that, you will see your Raspberry Pi has been assigned with an IP address, right? So you can see right now I have an IP address. As like every device which connects to internet uh, gets the IP address, now Raspberry Pi has an IP address 192.168.1.100, okay? And there is a port number slash 16, but we don't care. All what we need is an IP address of Raspberry Pi, so it's 192. 168.1.100 okay that's how we will set up the internet on our raspberry pi now i want to show you something more on the upper left corner there is a raspberry pi logo if you can click on that it will show you preferences and there are a few settings and one setting that you uh, very often have to deal with a raspberry pi configuration so if i can click on that then you will see there is a system and you see the host name is Raspberry Pi. Okay. And uh, if I can click on interfaces, you can see by default SSH is enabled because if you remember in our previous lesson, we just have created an SSH file in a double code which will enable the SSH. Otherwise, by default, when Raspberry Pi ship from the factory, it comes with SSH disabled. Okay, and there are some other interfaces which we will see in the future and when we need it, when then we will turn on them. Okay, so then there is something called performance and localization. Now in a localization, it's better if you set up um, this all the parameters like a local and then time zone and the keyboard. One thing that I want uh, all of you to um, do is a keyboard setup because we live in a different part of the world and because I lived in Germany, I know the German keyboard is different and the US keyboard is different. And right now I live in India, so I would click on set keyboard and you can see by default the layout is UK. But as we use the US keyboard, I would say English US. Okay. So whatever country you are in, if you are in Germany, you can select the Germany and uh, that's, that's how you're going to select the keyboard. Otherwise, it would make make your life difficult when you set up the password because there are special character like at the rate or the pound sign that is a hash mark or the question mark. If you type those kind of special characters from your keyboard, it will not recognize because your keyboard layout is different and your Raspberry Pi operating system will understand it in a different way. So I would going to select the layout as, as a English US keyboard layout and it will take um, you know a couple of seconds before it uh, apply the changes and then you can probably want to go for time zone and you see by default it says Europe and location is London so again as I said you know I live in India so I would rather say Indian and then location I don't know if uh, okay this this Indian is a bit different I think probably I have to select the Asia because uh, let me just play around it. I, by the way, I have no choice. Pacific UTC. 
and I still can't see what the heck is that okay I have this Asia right and in the Asia maybe I would find my Indian city okay here is a Calcutta right so I live in Pune but um, I don't mind using Calcutta because it's a far eastern part of uh, India but this would anyway make a sense for me to set up the the time zone for my country and I would then click on OK and uh, then as we already have set up the Wi-Fi country as in India so I don't want to do it again just say OK okay and then you're done now you can see upper left corner there is a black symbol like a terminal when I hover over my mouse it says terminal so if I click on that I would get this uh, terminal window where we were going to type different commands and we were going to uh, use the Raspberry Pi but rather we don't want to use the desktop view in order to work with Raspberry Pi we just use the IP address of Raspberry Pi and then remotely log in Raspberry Pi using our laptop that we will learn in a future lesson but for now I just wanted to show you that there is an SSH client which you can find it here I can close this for now and I can take you back again to the upper left corner this Raspbian logo and then on internet you can have this browser and you can have the office and there are a lot of uh, programming software tools you can um, find here inside the programming right so you can click any one that you are interested in but I just wanted to show you like this is how we're gonna set up the um, Wi-Fi on our Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian booster and uh, the the whole objective of this lesson is to get the IP address and again I want to repeat this because it's very very important when we hover over this Wi-Fi symbol on upper right corner of the screen we will get the IP address of Raspberry Pi and that is very very important for us in a future lesson because we need this IP address 192.168.1.100 this is the IP address we will be using in order to access this Raspberry Pi from our laptop remotely okay so now we have made a few changes it's better to uh, go up a left corner this raspbian logo and then click on shut down and then we can say uh, reboot uh, because we want to reboot the raspbian operating system in order to uh, apply the changes that we have made so it's always good practice that to reboot the raspbian os so it would take another few minutes and uh, you will see then your raspbian os will populate once again on your screen So here we have once again the Raspbian OS, a desktop version of Raspbian operating system on Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to click on OK and this is it for this lesson and we'll see us into the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching this video.